Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being with us today to speak about party finances. I'm Yulia Rishitka, I'm communication manager of Chesna, and these are my colleagues, Elena Nikulina and Igor Feshenko, analysts on party finances initiative Chesna. We've prepared interesting material for you, and I believe it will be really valuable for you. I would like to give the floor first to Igor or Elena. Okay. Igor, he is going to tell us about our analysis and uh, what will be of interest to you and your viewers. Good afternoon. Thank you for being with us today. And I'm going to explain what will be next and why these elections are unique in uh, uh, several decades of existence of our country. First, political parties uh, started to officially report about their proceeds and uh, expenditures because many expenditures before elections uh, we can find uh, this information in the reform of uh, in the reports of the party and uh, when the money is provided by the party we may refer to the report and we should understand in this way from uh, the source of this money we can establish by this. And in 2014, during elections, we didn't know mostly who financed the candidates for presidency and now the situation has changed. Also, e-declarations were introduced and responsibility for incorrect data was introduced and this allowed us to understand whether the candidate or the donor of the party, uh, whether they provided this money and uh, this uh, transparency is the key element at these elections and also there is a problem in assessment of the scale the scope of actions of political actors uh, they provide the reports to CC, uh, and uh, these are hundreds or thousands of pages. And before elections, uh, it is really difficult to find out about the candidate. And we believe that it is important to understand who finances uh, the candidates, to understand who is behind them and whose interests uh, uh, they are going to promote after they obtain this presidency. So we try to analyze the scope of these campaigns and to compare uh, these uh, volumes with those declared in financial reports. And now, Alena is going <coughs> to tell us about this topic. Due to Renaissance Foundation, we got monitoring data about the number of uh, TV advertisements in 2018 and during uh, election campaign 2019, and we revealed <coughs> many interesting uh, things uh, we want to share with you. Now I give the floor to Alena. Good afternoon. <coughs> So I would like to greet you all and uh, to say that now I'm going to tell you mostly about our conclusions, about the uh, advertisement, its volume in the two months of electoral campaign in this, uh, January and February 2019. First, our conclusions in two months of electoral campaign, the candidates spent about uh, 450 million for TV advertisement. The leader is uh, Yulia uh, Timoshenko, about 80 million. Yulia Volodymyrovna, she increased her media presence in February, and due to this, she uh, uh, now uh, is the leader, and she overcame Petr Poroshenko in this, and also in February. Uh, Petr Poroshenko started to increase his media presidency, and uh, now in March he becomes the leader. And also Sergei Taruta was in the 
among the leaders, and uh, now he uh, wants to be removed from the list of the candidates, as we know. So we see that in 2019, uh, in February and January, the advertisement increased, and in uh, December 2018, uh, on one of the TV channels that has high ratings, there were about 12 uh, uh, clips of the candidates per day in February. This figure is 60 clips per day. So the intensity of the advertisement uh, uh, constantly increases. About what was present in these channels uh, in 2018, we saw 19 candidates, and in 2019, we have uh, five that were added. Uh, uh, Volodymyr Zelensky became active in the media. He is now in the top, among top three leaders concerning investment. And uh, there is a trend that uh, on some TV channels, uh, one of the candidates dominate in 2018. This trend was more evident in 2019. We understand that we have more advertisement and there is more variety. About channels, on this graph we see that there was a lot of advertisement and on the channels and how much it cost. So we see that TV advertisement uh, uh, really costly in uh, Ukraine channel uh, because they have high prices for the second of advertisement and uh, ICTV, OnePlus One and STB, they have really a lot of advertisement. Uh, and uh, one more thing we've noticed, uh, according to the law about the presidency, the candidates may start their campaign only the next day after registration by CEC. In 2018, we saw that the candidates appeared in advertisement actively. In 2019, even those candidates who didn't appear in 2018, they were advertised before registration by CEC. Some candidates uh, were advertised, uh, uh, such as Yulia Litvinenko. She ordered the advertisement before the moment of registration. The problem is, Concerning this data, the candidates may potentially avoid uh, reporting by this, especially those candidates uh, who are self-nominated and uh, their expenses for advertisement won't be um, provided by the reports of the parties. And we go back to 2018, and we would like to remind to you that even those candidates uh, you saw in the previous graph uh, that they had the advertisement after registration in 2018. They were also promoted. There was a um, big presence uh, of this t advertisement uh, in 2018, and we see that uh, the number increased in the summer, and especially in uh, August, and also in uh, November and December. And the leader in 2018 concerning the volume and the amount was Peter Poroshenko after the him, Yulia Timoshenko. We see that uh, these two candidates, uh, they lead in 2018 and 1919. And also, uh, Alexander Shevchenko was among the leaders. Uh, he was in top five. But then, uh, now he is not in the uh, on, on top. So. Uh, due to Renaissance Foundation, we were able to uh, uh, understand the situation concerning the TV advertisement. According to the law, uh, they should uh, publish uh, the price for one second uh, uh, for, adv for advertisement presentation on TV, and we were able to calculate uh, the um, price of each uh, clip, and then uh, we were able to find out the figures behind this. I would like to give the floor to Igor. In order to provide understanding of what is going on, I would like to mention several figures in two months of official campaign about 450 million grivnas uh, were spent by the major candidates, and in 2018 on TV they presented uh, several 
um, tens of thousands of clips, uh, advertisement clips, uh, for the sum of about 560 million grivnas. Uh, uh, in the majority of cases, uh, we do not know where this money comes from. And the example of Alexander Shevchenko, uh, he is nominated by Crop Party, but during 2018, he campaigned independently of the party. And the uh, crop does not report uh, on the finances converting, uh, concerning advertisement, and uh, he doesn't reflect this information. We do not know whether he will report it in his declaration. And about 90 million in 2018 was spent uh, on popularizing himself uh, only on TV, and we do not understand who is behind him and who spent this money on him. Overall, uh, if we take data for 2018 and 2019, the candidates and their parties spent uh, for the TV advertisement more than one billion. Elections are carried out the same. They provide TV advertisement uh, and uh, big boards and uh, through newspapers. But the problem is in several aspects. First, politicians mostly do not want to adhere to the rules they established in Verkhovna Rada. What I mean, the law of Ukraine on elections of the president uh, absolutely prohibits uh, to broadcast any campaign, any political advertisement before um, official registration and the uh, opening of the official account. And 560 million uh, was spent by the candidates they spent before registration. So what it means, if there is a fair candidate who wants to adhere to electoral legislation and he will broadcast uh, his advertisement uh, during campaign period. He won't stand the chance for good results uh, during elections because his campaign will be for two or three months maximum and his competitors will deliver it for half a year, one year or more. And uh, that's why we may say that conditions are not equal for those who play fair and those who fa uh, play um, unfair and would like to win at any price. Also, the cost of the campaign, not all politicians can uh, have such a pleasure to spend so much money, millions, to order this advertisement. So we see that there is a national on top candidates and parties who may have this opportunity and play this politics and others, they should have about 10, 000, uh, tens of millions of dollars if they want to have good results because we understand that there is TV advertisement, advertisement in the newspapers, big boards and uh, um, CEC members uh, and they may pay to these people and also there is uh, social media advertisement and uh, this means that more and more money is needed and only a small number of politicians uh, can um, have it. Also, there is one more problem. This is not only about the amount, but also the origin of money is important. Often uh, voters and analysts do not understand where this money, where this money comes from and uh, for this electoral process. And uh, we uh, mentioned the um, case of Alexander Shevchenko, and uh, uh, also uh, we do not know about the origin of uh, money of Petro Poroshenko. The administration of the president declared that uh, last year he sp uh, they said that he spends his own money for TV advertisement. At the same time, he doesn't say uh, how this money was spent, whether it was his money or someone else, and the example of Timoshenko. Uh, last year, they sp spent 127 million grivnas for her advertisement, and uh, this uh, advertisement popularized her. From one side, political party, but Kivshina officially reported fully for these expenses from the other side. 
as uh, further journalist investigations shown, uh, the origin of the money is not known. Many people uh, who finance Petkivshina, they do not mention this, or they just do not have such money. For example, as uh, Kesia from Adeshina, she transferred uh, one and a half million, or her sister also provided um, uh, half a million to this party. So, also Sergei Taruta or Oleg Leshko, uh, party reports, they reflect only part of the expenses uh, for TV advertisement. For example, if uh, Sergei Taruta in 2018 ordered uh, advertisement for more than 60 million grivnas, commercial cost, and uh, uh, only 38 millions of the uh, are reflected in the party reports. Uh, so they just uh, order this advertisement not in the course of the election campaign, but before. And it means that they won't report because the law obliges them to report uh, from the start of opening of the electoral account until the end of electoral period. All advertisement that was before is not reported uh, according to the law. And uh, uh, Litvinenko, uh, they had about 2.5 million for advertisement for her. And uh, we try to find out where this money comes from, but we fail in this. We do not know the origin of this money. Not only TV advertisement is important, maybe you know that uh, several days ago Facebook started to provide data about the cost of advertisement campaigns of politicians uh, or the pages uh, that campaign for some candidates for or against some candidates. So maybe this is a surprise for those who ordered this advertisement because before you could hide easily. You may register the page, provide money um, for and against the candidate. No one would know who paid and in whose interests this money was paid. But in uh, several days, Facebook started to show the cost of uh, uh, and uh, finances, uh, and partly even shows uh, who paid. Uh, in order to provide the understanding about the prices, for example, uh, one NTPR uh, comment may uh, be for 50,000. Uh, uh, Dollars and uh, they paid for this uh, ten to five fifty, uh, and uh, also um, uh, there is also a page of uh, uh, Yulia Tymoshenko, uh, and uh, also uh, comments are provided f uh, from ten to fifty thousand dollars, and uh, now the Facebook follows this data and. Uh, uh, we will get information soon about uh, uh, these costs and we will be able to calculate these expenses and to compare them with financial reports uh, that await us the next week. And I believe that many surprises await us about uh, and, uh, declaring uh, on uh, TV advertisement and uh, social media advertisement. Thank you, Igor and Elena. Some things I would like to announce. Those who are registered or in Google form, they will get this presentation. If you didn't register, please come up to me and I will uh, uh, provide it to you. Also at noon there will be full analysis that will be provided and I will be able to send it to you. On the 29th of March, next Friday, we will be able to meet at 10 at UCMC and we will present prelim preliminary analysis of the electoral funds because you know that according to legislation, the candidates should show uh, what money they got and uh, where they spent it. If you have questions, so we have 10 minutes for questions, less than 10 minutes, five minutes for questions. Please, if you have questions, please ask. 
It's a pleasure for us to answer your questions. Could you please help us? Andrei Megil, Institute of Liberalism. Uh, in what countries uh, this, uh, uh, in some countries, this uh, advertisement is banned? Uh, what uh, should be the ideal proportion of advertisement? What resources should be used and uh, what budgets uh, uh, should be there? I would like to answer this question. In Ukraine, that uh, there, there is such an opinion that uh, about 60 or 90 percent of official funds, these are expenses for the media, mostly on TV, and people believe that uh, we should ban political advertisement on TV in order to make elections less costly and uh, to allow um, smaller players uh, and uh, uh, there are also uh, uh, news uh, that uh, provide different information about different politicians and uh, full ban of political advertisement on TV. I believe it uh, will m make things worse. There will be shadow advertisement and it will be more. And uh, I believe that we should limit f uh, funds for this TV advertisement and to establish some limits concerning the content to provide not only some slogans, vote for, vote for me, no, uh, do not vote for other candidates. There should be agenda of the candidates uh, um, and uh, his promises and these promises should coincide with the responsibilities of the president uh, because uh, there can be a problem with this. Also, we may answer one more question. If you don't have questions, we may speak off records. If you need some comments, please come up to us. Uh, please register. We wait for your registration. Thank you.